hey, it's me, your boomer consumer, and you don't have to spend big money to get big sound. Case in point, the Fosse Audio BT20A S Bluetooth integrated amplifier. We're going to talk about it in this video. As a disclaimer, I paid for this with my own funds, and no one's reviewed this video prior to posting. If you want more information, I have my Amazon affiliate link in the description down below. So, what is this tiny little box? Well, this is a Class D amplifier that supports one RCA line level input as well as Bluetooth 5.0. Couldn't find any information whether it supported aptX or LDAC, but I don't think it does. So you get the kind of the default SBC codec on there, and that's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. Rated at 100 watts per channel into 4 ohms, 50 into 100. Bluetooth 5.0, so you got a pretty good range on here. Basically just a nice solid little Class D amplifier. This can literally fit into your pocket if you take off the Bluetooth antenna. Who is this marketed to? Who is, who is this for? And this is going to be for people that want a very simple setup. They want to get passive speakers. They don't want power. Maybe they got an old set of speakers from years ago they want to hook up. Whatever. Uh, and all you need then is your phone or a Bluetooth device, like a tablet. You can stream your music directly to this. You just need the speakers, this, your phone, you're in business. You can stream music very nicely and have a lot of power and it will stay nice and cool. I bought this to put on my test bench using it with the Shit Modi 3 DAC as well as their Magni uh, headphone amplifier also feeding into the Fosse. I'm just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna call it the BT20. And I have to tell you, doing that, and then I use the Klipsch R41, R41M speakers kind of as my reference, speak, bookshelf speaker. I like bookshelf speakers. I'm very happy with bookshelf speakers. Small room, small speaker, big room, big speaker. That's kind of the idea. And I have to tell you, I was very impressed. These are for people who want a, a very small system, very portable system, very, very energy efficient system that puts out a lot of power. So on the front, you have your off and on switch. It's a red light if you're not using Bluetooth blue. If it is, you have your treble, bass, and volume controls on the front. That's it. That is the controls that you have on the front. Let's talk about the back side, the business end of this little amplifier. Well, on the back, you have an RCA input left and right, and then you have the left and right speaker connections, as well as your power adapter and then your Bluetooth antenna. The back will accept banana plugs, which I happen to be a big fan of banana plugs, but you can use bare wire connections on it as well. Now, some audiophiles, they're not big into Class D. They'll say that they lack the dynamic range of a Class A or even an AB amplifier. And that just, they're really referring to that softest flutter of a flute to the bang of a drum. I get that. But Class D amplifiers have come a long way, baby. And they offer real value for the money. In fact, they're really ubiquitous in the home, uh, home audio market, right? your sound bars, your home theater systems, your powered speakers. Many, many devices now use Class D ampli uh, amplification because it's nice and cool, it's energy efficient, and you can put out a lot of power at a very reasonable cost to make them. Let's talk about how it sounds. Now, I've listened to a variety of music. Remember, I mentioned I put this on my test bench, and I have a very eclectic uh, types of music that I listen to. Everything from Eric Clapton all the way to Mozart, just whatever I kind of really like. I'm still kind of a classic rock fan. And, you know, America, um, Meatloaf, Cream, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival, just a lot of those, those groups. And I've really put it through its pace. Let's talk about the actual sound. Now, remember, I'm using these with the Klipsch R41Ms, which is a right speaker to begin with. As far as I'm concerned, this really sounded quite good. Let me be honest with you. I thought it sounded really, really good. 
and would hold its own against a lot of like AB amplifiers, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary, but I thought it did a great job. I thought the dynamics were there. It didn't seem to struggle at all. Um, bass, mid-range, perfectly acceptable. Is this going to compete against a $2,000 uh, you know, amplifier class A? No, that's not the market for this. But will it sound really, really good when you're streaming Bluetooth music to it? Or maybe you got a CD player hooked up to it? Yeah, it's going to sound fine. <laughs> Folks, it's going to sound absolutely fine. You're not spending a lot of money on this little machine. A nice aluminum body, nice finish on there. Fossi Audio makes good stuff. You can, you can check out their reviews on, on their gear. And they make all kinds of stuff, phono preamps, DACs amplifiers they really got their act together they back it up with an 18 month warranty so i took some measurements um let's just talk about that I wrote these down so it's three and a half inches wide and it measures four and a quarter deep and about an inch and a half tall you can see it's really really small as far as weight i don't know less than a pound i mean there's not it's a solid little device nice nice metal but uh, it's just, it would literally fit in your pocket if you just took off that antenna. Any cons to this? Well, the only con I can think of is I wish they would relocate the power button to the rear and give me a balance control knob up front. Other than that, uh, of course, you could wish for more. And there's certainly more expensive options out there, more inputs, uh, that sort of thing. Subwoofer out, you, you might want all that stuff. But remember that price range, 80 bucks. And you got yourself a nice little amplifier. You plug in all those passive speakers out there you know from pioneer and um klipsch and others and it's going to do a really good job so my final thought is i think this little amplifier represents significant value for the money uh, i picked it up because i've seen a lot of positive comments about this unit a lot of people love it and if you're in the market for something small that you just not take up a lot of room, puts out a decent amount of power at a budget-friendly price, check out the Fosse Audio BT20A-S integrated amplifier. Bruce Naylor, your Boomer Consumer, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.